One misstep before bed can make your skin age an entire week every single time you do it. Hope that got your attention because our skin expert <laughs> Linda Moore is here with what you can do today to make an immediate difference in your complexion and that sounds pretty alarming Linda. It is, it is. Um, first of all, you do need to sleep about seven to eight hours every night. Okay, so is sleep hard. is a big factor in keeping your skin healthy. Why? Well, because we repair our cells at nighttime. That's when our skin is resting, we're resting, our body's resting. So we're actually exfoliating and repairing our skin at nighttime, every night. So it's really important to sleep and have a good night's rest. And so it, it makes you look refreshed for a reason because your skin is refreshing itself. So if you don't get enough sleep, it shows in your face. Yes. So it's a, a clear connection there. Definitely, and you wanna sleep on your back. And I know that's hard for some people. This is actually my pillow, and I use a satin silky pillowcase because it won't crease on my face. So I do tend to kind of sleep on my side, you know, in the middle of the night, I kind of roll right, right over. Well, and does that make a difference if you're sleeping on the side of your face and it's squished all night long? It does. Are there that, lasting impacts? That repetitive motion every night over and over again will cause a crease, and a crease is a wrinkle. So you do want to use something that is silky that won't, you know, that will kind of slide off your face if you think of it that way. So that you don't have that fabric kind of creating an indent yeah. that you might be stuck with permanently if you don't. <laughs> Change your pillowcase, yeah. which is kind of gross. So you do but. want to sit on your, or sleep on your back with okay. your face up, and you do want to use retinols. Retinols and exfoliants at nighttime are very important because it's helping with that cell renewal process. We want that to get new cells every day to exfoliate. So, and, and then there is that big misstep that oh. if you, if you <laughs> don't do this before you go to bed, it can have a huge lasting impact on your skin. What is it? And that is washing your face. Remove that makeup. Now, I'm a big fan of makeup. I love makeup. I wear makeup. But what happens is, is that every day we, ha we're, uh, we get the environmental pollutants that goes into our skin, dirt and oil, they just kind of marinate onto our face. So you do need to remove that. If you don't, that healthy collagen will break down. And, and there was kind of an experiment that yes. happened that showed the effects of what happens if you don't wash your face. Dana, um, can you show that picture? It's actually a journalist that uh, did a test and she didn't wash her makeup off for 30 days and a dermatologist said it really aged her skin by 10 years. Well, and it probably just filled her pores with bacteria too. That sounds bacteria, nasty. Bacteria, her skin is red and irritated, so you'll get those breakouts, and, but you'll also age your skin as well if you don't wash your face. So a good lesson, and that goes for, for guys as well. Right, well, men usually don't wear makeup, so they have that pollutant and that dirt and that pollen just right on their skin. So yes, they do need to remove that every night. Okay, and then if we do have damage, are there things we can do quickly to, to rejuvenate ourselves? Well, at nighttime, I love an eye cream, obviously, because we're resting and we could really you know, absorb those products onto the skin. And then a lightening agent as well to brighten the skin if you have pigmentation. You know, this is the best time to do it at nighttime, not in the daytime when you're kind of, you know, you're out in the sun. Sure. Well, it's a good thing to remember, Linda. Thank you very much. <laughs> and welcome. as we spring forward this weekend, remember to wash your face and get plenty <laughs> of sleep, guys.